So it's the ruler law, the ruler's law, it was monarchs, dictators, oligarchs. But we don't do that anymore, do we? Right? We'll get there in a moment. Why? But the ruler's law was really a mix of excessive taxation. And if you like to follow notes and fill in, that's one of the little fill-ins. It's excessive taxation. It's creating systemic poverty. And it created thus widespread hunger. Freedom was pretty much unthinkable. So excessive taxation, which created systemic poverty, which created all sorts of extra hunger. Freedom was unthinkable. And thus suppression of people's normative norm lives was normative. Slavery, most people don't want to think about this in their modern time when they're screaming about all sorts of things, also was constant and normal. Of all kinds, not just you know, lighter-skinned folks enslaving darker-skinned folks. It was everybody. I mean, the term slave comes from Slavic, and they don't have darker skin. Certainly many of our ancestors at one point or another were enslaved by Rome or the Germanic tribes of this or that or somewhere else. Everybody in their ancestry has been enslaved at some point. Doesn't make it right, don't hear me. That makes it still wrong, but we've all been oppressed in our heritage in one way or another. But we have to again ask, why is ruler's law no longer a thing? And I think we can all be thankful for that, right? Because the king could just literally take whatever you want. You don't have any divine right to property. Because God says, don't steal, they say, man, God appointed me, I'm going to take your land now. And we see that even happen in places like the Old Testament. And oftentimes God will condemn that king. Take your wife, take your children. Well, there were three things that started this. Really three things that shook the complete fabric of reality, spanning about 180 years. The first one was the invention of the printing press, 1440. Invention of the printing press in 1440. Number two was what we're celebrating and we'll be looking at more detail next week as well, was the Reformation on October 31st, 1517. So roughly 77 years later. And then number three was the pilgrims settling in North America in 1620. So printing press 1440, Reformation 1517, and pilgrims 1620. 